hello friends welcome back hearty welcome to you in the last video we have seen how to find out the last two digits of a number which is ending with one now in this video we will see how to find out the last two digits of powers of a number if the number is ending with three or seven or nine let us start with finding out the last two digit of 2023 whole to the power of 2023 now before we jump into the steps and let's first try to understand about the odd numbers 3 7 and 9 we already have a process in place if the number is ending with 1 which we have seen in the last video so can we transform the numbers which are ending with 3 7 9 into the numbers ending with 1 so that we can apply the logic whatever we learned earlier so for that let's have a look at the different powers of 3 7 9 and try to understand if I take 3 I know 3 power 4 is 81 and I also know that 7 to the power of 4 is 2401 I know 9 square is 81 so basically any number ending with 3 if I am able to rise it to the power of 4 it will be ending with 1 similarly 7 raised to the power of 4 and 9 raised to the power of 2 so can I go ahead and say that 3 power 4 n 7 power 4 n and 9 power 2 n will be ending with unit digit 1 now if that is going to happen then it is a good news because we know how to deal with the numbers which are ending with unit digit as 1 so let's go ahead now apply this logic and try to find out first what is 2023 whole to the power of 2023 last two digits so let's let me just write it down so we just now understood that the given number we have to if it is ending with 3 i have to raise it to the power of 4 so that it will become ending with 1 then i have to see whatever the power i can easily handle it because i have the number now ending with one whatever may be the power i know the logic what i need to do so that i can get the last two digits so let us raise this number to four for that i will write down 2023 can be written as four into 505 plus three now that logic i am going to apply here and say 2023 ending with 2023 we are interested in basically the last digit we are interested in the last two digits so I'll write it as 2023 whole to the power of 4 because that's what we discussed we should write down and that we will rise it to 505 and then we multiply that with 2023 whole to the power of 3 so that we can get 2023 whole to the power of 2023 that's very simple right 4 into 505 is 2020 and we are adding 3 there now we know this guy is going to end up with 1 so let us see what will be the two digits here I have to multiply 23 four times and I have to take only the last digits two digits now 23 into 23 is 529 I will take only the last two digits those are 29 again 23 into 23 is ending with 529 I will take last two digits these two I will multiply 29 into 29 that will be 841 I'll be taking only the last two digits so I know that this will be some number I don't care but I know it will be ending with 4 and 1 to the power of 505 and here we have 2023 whole cube that means we need to find out the last two digits of 
this number 23 into 23 we know is 29 you multiply 29 with 23 and take only the last two digits last two digits are 6 and 7 now let's go and uh, apply the logic related to numbers ending with 1 we know that if you have any number ending with 1 so and raise it to any power the unit digit will be always 1 and the tenth digit will be coming from the product of the unit digit in the power multiplied with the tenth digit from the number and we multiply this that is 4 into 5 20 and from the 20 we will take only the unit digit that means it will be 0. Now this we have covered extensively in the earlier video so if you have any doubts in that you can just go back to the video where you have how to find out the numbers ending with unit digit as 1. Find out the last two digits. Now this is 0 1 and that we need to multiply with 67. So 1 into 67 is 67. So the last two digits of 2023 whole to the power of 2023 will be 67 let's have a recap of this before we move to some other examples maybe one example for 7 and one example for 9 2023 to the power of 2023 we have to find out the last two digits our logic is to convert the number 2023 into another number in such a way that the number will be ending with 1 so that I can apply the logic related to numbers ending with 1. So for that what we did we have taken the power 2023 divided with 4 and we understood that can be written as 4 into 505 plus 3 4 into 505 plus 3. Now we have went back to 2023 to the power of 2023 and we have written it as 2023 whole to the power of 4 whole to the power of 505 multiply with 2023 whole cube. Now we are going to take only the last two digits. So whatever the numbers we are multiplying, we are going to take only the last two digits. Now 2023 whole to the power of 4, the last two digits will be coming from 23 multiplying 4 times. 23 into 23 is 529 but we will take only the 29 similarly again 23 into 23 is 529 we will take 29 so 29 into 29 we multiply we get 841 we will take only the last two digits 41 now this 41 to the power of 505 we have and that we have to multiply with 23 2023 whole cube the last two digits of this number will be ending with 23 into 23 into 23 last two digits 23 into 23 will end with 29 and 29 into 23 will end with 67 so this whole number will be ending with 67 and now coming to this number whatever may be this number but we know it is ending with 4 1 that is enough for us and we know the power is 505 then the logic is the unit digit will be always 1 and the tenth digit will be coming from unit digit from the product of number 5 and number 4 which are unit digit from the power and the tenth digit from the number so 4 5s are 20 we are taking unit digit that is 0 1 so 2023 whole to the power of 2020 are will be ending with 0 1 and 2023 whole cube will be ending with 67 when we multiply both of them we will be getting that the last two digits will be equals to 67 now let's do one simple example related to 7 take another example where we have now it is ending with 7 we know that 7 to the power of 4 will be ending with 1 so we'll write down 598 the power as 4 into 149 plus 2 so then we can write down 37 to the power of 599 yes 37 to the power of 4 to the power of 149 and that we multiply with 37 square 
Now we know that this number will be ending with 1. That will be 37 multiplied 4 times. So 37 into 37 will be ending with 69. And 69 into 69 will be ending with 61. We are taking only the last two digits. So this will be some number ending with 61 and to the power of 149 multiply with 37 square we know 37 square will end with 69 now 61 to the power of 149 then we know that the unit digit will be 1 and the tenth digit will the next digit will be coming from unit digit of multiplication of these two numbers that is 9 into 6 54 from 54 we will take the unit digit that is 4 1 so 37 to the power of 4 to the power of 149 will be last two digits will be 4 1 that we multiply with 69 again we need to take the last two digits here when I multiply 69 into 41 I will be getting 2829 but I will take only the last two digits so my answer will be 29 so the last two digits of 37 to the power of 598 is 29. Similarly, we will do one example with respect to 9. Now, let us find out the last two digits of 729 whole to the power of 236. We know that with respect to 9, we have to make it the number raised to the power of 2. So, I will write this as 729 whole square so that the number will end with 1 and what it will become 236. I have to write it as multiple of 2. So, it will be 2 into 118. So, I can write this number as 729 whole square whole to the power of 118. We know that 729 square will end with 29 into 29. That is 841. We will take only the last two digits. So, this number will be ending with 41 to the power of 118. Now, we know what to do now. The unit digit will be of the last two digits will be 1 and the tenth digit will be coming from the multiplication of 4 with 8. We have 4 8s are 32 but we will take the unit digit from there. So, the answer will be 21. So, the last two digits of 729 whole to the power of 236 is equals to 21. So, let us have a recap of all these examples together. The logic what we are saying is we know already how to deal with the numbers which are ending with 1 when they are raised to some power. Now, we observe that 3 power 4 n, 7 power 4 n and 9 power 2 n they all end with 1. So, whatever may be the number which is given with ending with the 3 or 7 or 9, we will try to change them to the numbers which are ending with 1, then we will apply the logic related to numbers ending with 1.